parish of St. Constantine and Helen, this is Father Pandalemon offering a, a little end of the week spiritual reflection. As you may recall, if you've been following uh, these videos, I have for the past couple of weeks been going through a part of a document that the Archdiocese Office of Youth and Young Adult Ministry had put out a while back. Uh, the title of the document being uh, Exodus from Orthodoxy, uh, with a subtitle of Are Young Adults Leaving the Church and What Can We Do About It? This is the document. And uh, if we scroll down a little bit in the document, we come up upon this little portion, which is an excerpt from uh, the National Study of Youth and Religion. And what's interesting about this excerpt, and I've talked about this before, is that it, it looks at the reasons behind why young people stay in the church. And basically what they did through the study is they sort of pulled out what they perceived as the three main findings as to what happens in the life of a young person that results in their staying in the church, right? Which is useful information, I would think. And uh, as you can see on the screen, there were really three things. One was that the family, uh, the, the, the faith was practiced at home. Secondly, is that there was another adult in the life of that young person who was not a member of the family uh, and was serious about their faith. And then the last one, as you can see there, is that the, the young person had a, an experience of God sort of directly in their own lives. I've talked about point one uh, in the first three videos, and I talked a little bit about point two in the last video I did on this. Today, what I want to do is I want to continue talking about point two, which is that, as I said, that the young person had a, an adult who was not a member of their family, but was serious about their faith uh, as a part of their life. And what I want to do is actually, I, I want to just break open for a second what it means to be serious as an Orthodox Christian. So I'm going to show you a document right now that I had put together a while ago for a sermon series I had done in the past. I had entitled this sermon series, uh, The Rhythm of Orthodoxy, as you can see at the top of the page, with the subtitle of 10 Prerequisites for Coming to Know God. And what I did really is I, I just sort of looked at the tradition of the Orthodox Church and sort of pulled out what I thought were the 10 most important things that an Orthodox Christian should be doing if they want to be growing in their faith. Uh, and I'm going to read through it really quick. I'm not going to go into these things much because I actually want to do a separate series down the road on each one of these things. So I'm just going to read them quickly, though, just so we have an idea in our head as to what we mean by a person who is serious about their faith. So first of all, uh, the person believes that the truth can be known and desires to know the truth and do it wherever that leads. Number two is the person has a personal prayer life. Number three, uh, the person is involved in corporate worship. For most of us, that means divine liturgy or perhaps matins, perhaps vespers. Um, this person would fast. That's part of you know, the normative practice of an Orthodox Christian reading of the Holy Scriptures, and for that matter, reading other things as well, uh, Lives of Saints and other edifying Orthodox books. Um, having another person in our lives to whom we are totally transparent, so someone else in our life that knows everything going on in our lives. For most Orthodox Christians, that would be the person they go to confession to. Um, having silence in our lives, so maybe getting up early in the morning and just having a period of time where we just sit in silence. Um, dealing with addictions in our lives. And that's, there's a lot to that. I'm not going to talk about it too much, but that's an important part of becoming healthy in Christ. Um, giving to charity. And I have a bunch of sub points here I'm not going to go into, but that's part of being an Orthodox Christian and part of how we grow in our faith. Uh, and lastly, being a part of a community, the church, where ideally everyone else in the community is doing numbers one through nine. I don't want to say too much about those, those 10 points, because I'm going to talk about those another time, but I, I would leave you with a, a very little challenge, and that is, again, that we, we take our faith seriously. As, if we're parents, um, then it really is up to us to, to practice the faith at home, to pray, to fast, to read the scriptures to our kids, to attend church regularly, to go to confession. Um, and even if we're not part of a family, even if we're a, a young adult or a middle-aged adult or a, an older adult who doesn't have family or everybody's gone, um, we can still be that, that second finding in the study, right? That 
young people who stayed in the church had another adult that wasn't part of their family who was serious about their faith, right? So we can always be that, right? Even no matter who we are, no matter where we live, no matter what we are, we can always come alongside a young person and, and model the faith for them and, and sort of validate, as I've said in a previous video, sort of validate what they're seeing at home. Hopefully they're seeing the faith practiced at home and we can serve as, a, a, as an, an independent third party that says, hey, you know, this is true. This is real. There's, there's another person who I'm not related to who, who takes this seriously and I can be like that. So may we do that, brothers and sisters. And I, I pray uh, that this video finds you well and may our Lord and Savior watch over you and yours.